Hey everyone, this is Eric and we have another magnetic mount review video. Um, this time it's from a different uh, seller, sort of a different approach. Um, you, if you're interested in the previous magnetic mount video footage, you can just go to my channel and search the videos on mag you'll see some of the previous posts. They were basically um, around another seller named Cloud J. And this time we're talking about Janka or Jan K. And he's got a, what he's calling the Cross Glide Mag Mount. It's a quick release style of uh, mount for your comma three or three X might even work on the comma two. Um, so I'll just show you some quick previews and then we're gonna dive into the unboxing. So you can see here, it is in this case, this amber colored thing attached to the top of this comma three. And you can see it uses a special cable. It's a custom cable. Here's another view. It's got the amber colored one right next to the black colored one. And here's sort of some, this, is, this isn't this is an x-ray, it's really this translucent. So you're able to see through it. And this is a nice view. Here is the mount being CNC machined. Although this part is actually initially uh, a resin that's cast and then it's being machined afterwards. It's honestly the approach that I would probably take as opposed to uh, 3D printing it. And here he has just a bunch of them packaged up ready to ship out. We've got his channel here. I'll include a link to this in the description for this video. And then you can see um, here's just a demo that was on a beta. And I'll just quickly show you this. So it does mount pretty quickly and then it slides in. So he does have a web page that he's selling from, Jan K Workshop. So you can see this here. And he's also on Discord. Here's his information. And here is another quick video. Okay, so let's dive into this and we'll start with an unboxing. And I've got a big knife here. I'm going to avoid cutting myself because I like to cut myself sometimes. And the box, um, it's actually pretty light. It's only, it's under seven ounces for the full package. So let's see what's in here. So uh, it's basically the essentials. We've got a USB-C to C straight cable and 
We've got his custom cable here. We've got Allen wrench and some set screws. It looks like maybe an extra in there. There's five in here. This actually feels really nice, nice and smooth. It's already got some set screws in there, so maybe these are just extras. I see, okay, this must be an eight degree um, wedge. So if you have a truck or certain SUVs might need a wedge, might go something like uh, that or that, depending on the rake of your windshield so you can get it to the sweet spot where open pilot calibrates without complaining yeah this is really nice so let's see it's got just that so an extra 3m vhb so i'm thinking let's see how easy this is to move around okay so it's actually, wow, that's pretty cool. It's got a really snappy action. You can hear that snap. It's really cool, actually. Okay. So if you've seen my other video, you know that with the other design, you could get yourself into some tricky situations where you're having to use tools to pry it apart if you accidentally attach this without putting it on your windshield and attaching it to your comma three. In this case, it doesn't seem to have that danger. I'm gonna just kind of fool around and see what happens if I, okay. Okay, doesn't feel dangerous. Very light attraction this way. It's got a, a raised alignment notch there or a bump and I guess the corresponding notch is here. And it uses pogo pins. So you can see there isn't um, a lot of uh, wiggle room compared to the other mounts because the other mounts actually had this distance exposed. And so one of my videos was actually of me 3D printing an insert here. In this case, it already has the insert basically. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is real good. This seems very robust. Uh, it's slightly not level there that's not a big deal could probably just push it down but that's not really gonna make a difference it's i'm sure it's fine so this would be on the comma three you put it like that okay yeah automatically it automatically attracts itself to the right position that's really good because that allows you to blindly blindly put this on the windshield. You could be driving and just hold out your hand and put it on the windshield without even looking. Let's see how much room for error there, there is here. Okay, so as long as you have about half of it over, it'll suck itself on. Yeah, so you do that. Yeah, you don't want to insert it like that, obviously. And then you just scoot it over. Yeah, that has a real satisfying click to it. Okay. Well, um, and then with a comma three attached, you'll need this cable to get it on. I have my comma three in the car right now, but um, I assume it's gonna be something like that. So uh, 
that's pretty cool. And um, I may or may not use this cable in my little demonstration. Uh, let's just get some quick measurements here since I have it handy. So about 25 millimeters that way. And let's see what it's looking like this way here. About 60 millimeters this way. Okay. And it's got the adhesive on it too, so it's probably like 20 millimeters that way, plus uh, a millimeter or two of adhesive. Okay. About five millimeters there. Um, so, and if you were to look real closely, you can see that it took the same approach that it, I advised on the other magnetic mount where it has more space here so it can choke further up on the, the mount of the comma three. That way it gets itself further away from the camera, the wide angle camera that's here. So if, if it was further down, then the camera is gonna be able to see the mount. So that's good. Okay, well, I decided to bring the comma three into the house because I noticed there was a little bit of a problem. So right now I, I currently have the cloud J magnetic mount on, and this is how it looks. You know, nothing new here. Uh, you can see it slides on and off very easily. Very good fitment there. It's made out of machined aluminum but this one the um, the new one here doesn't quite fit it's just like literally like a fraction of a millimeter off and if I was to force it it would definitely snap this so it's the right, since I can get one side on, it's, it's definitely just barely, it's very tight fitment for the distance here. So that distance is good, but it's, it's kind of hitting right over there. And I suspect it's because this was made according to the comma three, whereas this is a comma three X. So maybe he didn't have a comma three X to compare this against. Um, this would work if I shaved a little bit of that off. Of course I could also shave the comma three, uh, the comma three X in this case, shaving that would probably make it work, but Currently, it's not fitting. Yeah, I can tell it's just hitting right on the edge here. And so that needs to be shaved. So I'll probably shave this, um, but I'm gonna get back with the uh, creator. Hey, I am back with um, a small modification that I made to the mount after some discussion with the builder. And um, I told him basically there was just a little bit of a clearance issue right on the edges here. And so I, you know, I marked it with a marker and then I actually took a nail file and filed that down. Very, very tiny amount of sanding was required. So, I took some close-up pictures and sent them over just so you could be aware. It, it was like literally just a very small fraction of a millimeter that was required. And uh, once I did that, I had no problem getting it to fit on here. It's a very nice snug fit. Very, very nice. And so... I am going to go ahead and mount this in my car 
and because um, I have a feeling that it's actually going to be pretty fun just uh, mounting and unmounting this like it's practically like a toy you know because it's like so much fun so now this goes up on the windshield and bam pretty cool and you'd have a cable coming out of there. I don't know if I would use this cable if you had another cable that was shaped a little bit differently. Maybe like uh, like this. Uh, well, that wouldn't work because that's going into the windshield. This way it would work good. So that, something like that. Uh, but I have lots of cables laying around um, and then of course this gets installed like that so you can see very slick installation and you'd pull it off the windshield like that so it does take a little bit of force, but it's not like the other um, mag mount that I reviewed where it's you're using a lot more force and it'll smash into the windshield. Uh, this feels pretty good. So I will take this to my car. Welcome back. We're in my car and I've got some isopropyl alcohol Microfi microfiber cloth here. Gonna just clean up a little area here. I'm gonna leave my old magnetic mount in place and I'm just going to put the new one right underneath it. So it'll be like this. And that'll make it easy for me to get the alignment right because I just, I don't need to measure anything. Just scoot it right up against here and it'll be fine. So, and, and I did um, double check that the assembly will fit fine. So like that, so that'll be good. So let me get this cleaned up. Then dry it up a little bit. Okay, and um, a lot of times people will have problems getting the um, little backing off of the 3M sticker, VHB sticker. So I'm going to just pick a little bit. Okay, and it came off pretty good. And of course, make sure you have it in the correct orientation with the USB port on the side. And try to, you, you can't really roll it on, but get as close as you can to it. So don't just try to stick it flat on. Sort of, you know, roll it. <laughs> Even though, like I said, it's a flat surface. But in, it, in this case, my old mount is attracting it just a little bit. Okay, I think I got it relatively centered. So now I'm, yeah. Then just put a lot of pressure on it. Hold it for, you know, at least 10 seconds or something. Some people get really concerned about their mounts falling off which is a valid concern because you've got like a thousand dollar device hanging off of it and technically you have people's lives at stake that's why you should always
be uh, monitoring. You don't have to have your hands on, on the wheel, but have them close. And if anything happens, you know, you'll, Open Pilot will have usually a red alert or and or make a, a loud sound. So you should always be ready to take control. But I haven't had any problems with um, devices falling off a magnetic mount. So anyway, there you can see what it looks like on the windshield. And let's see what it's like putting this on. And so I'm just, I'm not slamming it. I'm just gonna let um, the magnetism do most of the work here. So let's see what happens. Okay, so it's there on its own and just pull it to the right very slightly. That was very easy. Really cool, it felt really good. And let's slide it to the left. And it comes off pretty easily. Um, it, it is not going to fly off on its own, I can tell that. Yeah, that's really satisfying. So let's see what it looks like from the outside. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm happy with that. So anyway, overall, I can tell you that this is uh, definitely gonna make you happy. I think they're pr priced around $100, and I think that is a good uh, price considering that it takes the uh, wear and tear off of the actual USB port, or actually they call it the OBD-C port on the Comet 3 or 3X. So it saves wear and tear on the um, the port here. So, and this is a, once again a pretty cool custom cable that's designed here. And I feel like these Pogo pins are going to last a lot longer than on the Cloud J mount, although the um, 3D printed insert that you can get installed for that one does seem to help a lot. Like I've had no no problems with, with the old uh, Cloud J mount, but um, this seems like a pretty good design. Um, so anyway, thumbs up. Very cool. Thanks for watching.